This is Mark Richmond from Chef Knives To Go, and I'm going to do some questions and answers today. Uh, a few questions I got from people that watched the videos and sent them to me either by email or a couple people called me. So uh, I thought I would take those right now. Uh, the first one is uh, regarding flattening, and it says, do you recommend using the pencil line trick when flattening? Uh, the pencil trick is basically you take the stone and a pencil and you draw on the sharpening stone, usually in an X pattern or something like that. And then when you go to flatten your stone, you keep flattening until all the pencil mark is removed. Uh, this is a fine way to do it. Uh, it's pretty easy to see. And um, so, yeah, sure, that's a good way to do it. Um, the next question I had was, I noticed you are using a mat beneath the stone. Is this a good thing to buy? When I looked at the DMT diamond plates, the extra extra course was more money than the extra course. Is it okay to use the less expensive one? Okay, the DMT non-skid mat is what I'm using under the stone. And yeah, this is a good little uh, mat to provide a little bit of friction between the counter and your stone. It also works when it's wet, which is nice. Um, they're not that much money, uh, but you can use other things. You can use um, those little rubber drawer liners, or you could use even a damp cloth, uh, dish towel, something like that. So it's not necessary, but uh, I have one here, so I figured I'd use it. Um, as far as the DMT plates are concerned, um, the extra extra coarse is this one here, and this one's 120 mesh, 120 micron, uh, which is pretty gritty uh, plate. The extra coarse is 220 mesh and 60 micron. So it is a finer uh, plate, and it won't grind the stone as quickly. But yeah, sure, you can use this. It's less money by about 20 bucks. And uh, as long as you're okay with using it and taking a little bit longer time to do the job, there's no reason why you couldn't use the extra course. Uh, next question is, can you talk about how to detect a burr? Yes, uh, I actually kind of glossed over that the other day on my lesson, so this is a good question to, uh, to talk about. When you are sharpening on one side of the knife and you develop a burr, hopefully, you want to make sure. And so on the back side of the edge, let's say we're sharpening on this side, the burr will start to form on this side. And what you can do is, there's a couple little tricks, you can, you can grab the knife and pinch it and pull and you should feel a little grit on the burr side and it should be smooth on the uh, side you are sharpening. Uh, if you can't detect the burr that way, you can also do a couple other things. Some people will take a roll up paper towel and they'll slice through it and if there's a burr on one side, it will rip the paper towel. Um, so those are two easy ways to detect a burr and you really want to try to feel that burr all the way up the edge. It should be consistent. If you can't feel it in one section, then you should go back and sharpen again on that particular section before you flip the knife over and start again. Uh, the last question that I was going to field is uh, somebody asked me about what about using a sharpening guide when you first start. And sharpening guides, uh, there are, we have several of them on the store. This one um, is a pretty popular one. You just slip it onto the back of the knife on the spine, and that basically will provide you with the a set angle when you go to sharpen. So I like these; they're kind of like training wheels. Um, they will, in the very short term, the first time you use them, they will help you. Uh, over the long term, they they pretty much keep you from learning how to hold the knife and not wobble. So um, if you need to get it done today, you don't know how to sharpen really well, and you want good results the first time you try, uh, you might want to consider getting one of these. If not, I would encourage you to just try to learn to keep that angle and do it freehand because uh, over time 
you'll have a lot more versatility uh, sharpening knives if you don't rely on the little guide. So those are some questions for today. Uh, I hope you uh, are enjoying watching the series, and uh, I'll do another one tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Stay sharp.